Hi everyone, this is Ramu. Welcome back to our channel. The today topic name is chest trap. Trap name is center counter trap. Best trap in center counter trap. If you like this video, subscribe our channel. The following moves are here. E4 controlling the center. Pawn to D5 is center counter gambit variation. Pawn takes pawn, then after queen takes pawn, then simply with the tempo white can develop the knight, knight to c3 attacking the queen, queen to d8, then after knight to f3 controlling the center with the two knights very strongly, pawn to c6 stop the knight development, pawn to d4 controlling the center with the center pawn. Pawn h6 stop the knight development on g5 square. Bishop f4 controlling the center as well as attacking the c7 square. Knight f6 controlling the center. Bishop c4 controlling the center as well as attacking the f7 weak square in the future planning. Bishop f5 controlling the center attacking the c2 pawn. Knight e5, white wants to create the fork on f7 square. Here, black played pawn to e6, block the attacking. Then after pawn to f3, here white player planning is stop the knight development as well as white wants to control the center on e4 square. Bishop e7, preparation to castling. Pawn g4 attacking the bishop. If why here white player planning is if bishop played to g6, knight takes g6, pawn takes g6, then after white can get, gain free pawn on e6 square. That's why black played bishop to h7, avoid the uh, upon gaining a pawn advantage. Then queen to e2, control the along the e file as well as supporting the bishop. One more st stunning planning is there, right how? Then after pawn, he played pawn to a6. Pawn to a6 is a big blender. In this position, he needs to have pawn to a6. He needs to do castling. But he played pawn a6 is a big blender. Now here, the stunning sacrifice is knight takes pawn on f7. Sacrificing the knight. Then after forcefully king will take the knight because he will lose the extra piece. Then after the stunning checkmate is possible, now here, queen takes pawn on e6 check, king move to e8, then queen f7 check, king move to d7, the unstoppable checkmate is bishop to e6, stunning checkmate over. So when we are playing time, compulsory you need to follow your opponent planning. Every move is a reason is a good move in chess game, there is no reason is a bad move. That's what we need to think. Which is the best way to choose always. Thank you. Bye bye everyone.